from the first time we were ever exposed to something like Ridley Scott's Alien, Event Horizon, or games like Dead Space, we as individuals and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people worldwide have become fascinated on sci-fi horror. The idea of being in a desolate, claustrophobic, and quite literally alien environment just gets inside so many of us and excites us, and completely and totally terrifies us. As modern attempts at capturing the same terror have ended up falling pretty flat, there comes a need to return to sci-fi horror's roots, and to be more specific to the gaming space, to return to more of the survival horror roots. As survival horror fans, our market for fulfilling games is thin. It seems the only good games we can get recently often end up being HD remasters of beloved games that we already played a very long time ago. The last true series we had to fill this need was Dead Space, and after a stellar opening chapter, a successful sequel, and a disappointing and underperforming third act, the series just faded into obscurity and on a massive cliffhanger at that, leaving all of us sitting here waiting and saying, damn I guess that's it then, what now? Enter Negative Atmosphere, developed by Sunscorch Studios. Negative Atmosphere will have players take control of Samuel Edwards, a mid-50-year-old former combat medic and war hero. In the universe, in about 200 years, humanity has reached out past Earth and colonized the known galaxy. Rumored human populations are soaring across the stars at almost 20 billion. No other forms of spacefaring life have yet been discovered, but the developers have explained that humanity at this time has come in contact with other life forms. Humans being what we, you know, we, who we are, what we tend to do best, tensions have soared, and an Earth-centric and oligarchic Earth-based government known as the UESN, or United Earth Space Nations, is in a state of all-out war with the FPAC, the Freedom Pact, who are mainly libertarian settlers, extremists, and countless others united in their efforts to fight back and claim their freedom against the Earth-based oppressors. Stop me if you've heard this one before, though. A massive spacefaring vessel with an extensive human population is adrift in space. Before anybody has time to react, all hell breaks loose. An unknown virus is ravaging the crew and robotic AI as they are quickly killed off and are mutated into hellish murder machines and vicious nightmare fuel. You play as Edwards, like I said, and you are not just the kind of guy to lay down there and die. It is your job to delve into the ship, locate a way out, fight like hell to stay alive, and figure out what just happened in the first place. The Dead Space comparisons are strong, and it can be said that this game borrows very heavily from those past titles. Here's the thing, though. We love that. That's why this game has really come up on our radar in the first place. If you're going to borrow, borrow from the best and innovate. And from what we have seen so far, it seems this smaller studio is working at hard to excel at just that. Negative Atmosphere is being built on the very powerful Unreal Engine 4. The game will take full advantage of this engine to engross players in its environment with rich, detailed lighting, smoke and fog effects, and nightmarishly highly detailed monsters. One of the most important aspects of anything horror related is the sound design. So far, the game sounds incredible. Samuel will show signs of labored breathing as he takes damage, gunshots are heavy and weighty sounding, accompanied with a nice visual kick and damage done to the enemies, and most importantly, the creatures all make unique nightmarish noises. Sound design is one of the strongest assets a designer can use to immerse the player, and Sunscorched are on the right track with all that we have been seeing so far from Negative Atmosphere. There are a load of accessibility options coming too, such as colorblind filters, controller support, and keyboard and mouse remapping. If everything we have managed to show and talk about today in this short window of time has interested and incited you as much as it does us, then we would probably be also happy to know that the current release window, as stated by the devs, is gearing up for a 2021 release date. We unfortunately do not have any more information other than this at the time, but they are confident enough in their work that they have accomplished that they also have promised us a full playable demo leading up to release in order to introduce more players to the title as the project concludes and we get closer to the targeted release window. And if we have done the job we set out to, we hope that you consider signing up for their Patreon and supporting them as they continue to work hard and develop the title. Links to their official Patreon page will be in the description below. But that's enough from us today. Thank you guys for watching, and as a growing channel, we would appreciate you considering to subscribe and support our continued growth. If not, of course your time is just quite okay with us. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.